you know, my biggest failure kind of in, in terms of the last, in my professional career, when it, when it was, uh, when it comes to mine is basically, you know, hey, I decided I want to start a real estate company. It's good timing. <laughs> it was wonderful timing. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I learned, I had a group of investors that wanted to buy some real estate and they were like, Hey, we'd love to, we'd love to diversify out of the stock market. We think it's a recession. We think that it'd be smart for us to put some money in real estate right now. And, uh, and I was, I was, I had an entrepreneurial seizure, kind of like the E-Myth book talks about and said, let's do it. I'm going to go become a, a broker and, and I'll help you. And then we can get commissions to kind of keep things going and it'll be great. And then the market tanked. Um, everyone was, was frozen, paralyzed, didn't want to do anything. Um, you know, was able to last about a year. And then I just had to shut it down and go find steady work. Cause that was the year I got married as well. And I was like, I can't start off a, you know, a family with, uh, without income. And, and so, you know, had failed a real estate company in 2008 and effectively was humbled to start over completely in my banking career and start back at the same position I got into right out of college and just say, I'm happy to start over. I'm going to work my way up. I'm going to rededicate my energy to banking. And that led to one of the greatest successes in terms of uh, being with an equity bank and helping them through a major growth uh, from 380 million in assets to about a billion five over a short period of time with multiple acquisitions and some of the greatest learning opportunities I've ever had. And, and none of it would have been possible had I not gone through that, uh, that failure of, of trying a business and it not working out and then going and having to kind of get back and start over. It was, yeah. it was the best thing that ever happened. 